Conversion AI is an automatic all-in-one automation platform that helps you save time with your business without learning any serious coding skills. Seriously though, welcome to Hydra Media 90. I'm Dominic Pinocchio, and today we're gonna to be talking about this crazy tool that you might have heard recently called Conversion.ai. Now, I just want you guys to understand just how insanely powerful this tool is. I mean, we're talking about AI on a whole other level. Now, I believe that this tool is actually powered by GPT-3, which, if you didn't know, is a neural network run and operated by OpenAI, which is run by Elon Musk. This tool is immense. It can do everything from sales copy to Facebook ads, product descriptions, creative stories, I mean, you name it. So today, we're gonna take a deep dive and just see the true power of what this thing is really capable of. You ready? Let's jump in. Hey guys, so we are here in the official conversion.ai dashboard. And as you can see, I've actually been using a bit of the tool, which this kind of just shows you your usage here. Uh, but I actually have the highest package, which is called boss mode, right? And uh, if we look at the subscriptions, maybe it'll actually show me the whole thing. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, right here. So it is expensive, but all the stuff you get is just crazy, right? I mean, you get all sorts of templates and things like that. If you have the money to spend, it is well worth it if you can. But anyway, enough talk. Let's actually jump into the templates and see what is available here, all right? So we have everything from video to social media, website, frameworks, e-commerce, SEO, blog, email, Google, and ads. Or you could just look in this little diagram here and you see everything here. So. We have everything from SEO product pages to video descriptions, persuasive bullet points. I mean, guys, that this thing can do it all. I've been using it. It is an incredible tool. So we're going to go ahead and test the waters on a few things, and let's just see what this is capable of, right? So let's start off with an actual framework, right? So these are marketing frameworks, right? So you basically can like punch in things to a prompt, and this will give you a really good copy, right? So let's try it out. So we're going to try the Ada framework first, okay? Now, I was actually using this uh, for my YouTube coaching to kind of punch some examples in, but we'll 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 do some false products, right? Let's do um, let's create a vacuum, right? We'll create a fake vacuum. So we'll call this the lightning vac, okay? And we'll call this the strongest handheld vacuum in human history. Handheld, four hour long battery life, and the strongest section of any vacuum to exist right there's my product description i want a professional tone again this is just a mock-up um product it doesn't actually exist the company doesn't exist but we're going to go ahead and give it three outputs here and i want to truly see if this ai can honestly generate an actual somewhat of a sales copy so let's see what it does so we hit this button down here and it's going to spit out all this stuff now this framework or not the framework but the ai has been trained on like 10 percent of the internet which is crazy that is a crazy amount of data i mean it's just it's unfathomable so or already right here attention the lightning back is the strongest handheld vacuum in human history interest with four hour battery life you can clean for hours without having to worry about charging and with the most powerful suction of any vacuum on earth, it's perfect for all your cleaning needs. It's lightweight and easy to use. Just plug it in and get started. Desire, get yours today by clicking this ad. You won't regret it. The Lightning Vac is the most powerful handheld vacuum in human history. With far better life, you can clean your entire house without ever having to worry about charging it. It's also lightweight and easy to carry around with you, so you never have to go back and forth between rooms. You will not find a more powerful vacuum. As you guys can see, this thing can deliver. I mean, this is not bad copy at all. Um, and this is just from having three different outputs. It's more powerful. It's four hours battery life. I mean, guys, this is good. Uh, this is stuff that I would sell to a company if I'm doing copy. I mean, maybe make some tweaks here and there, but look at this. I mean, it understands context. It understands situations. It understands how things relate to one another. That's intelligent, guys. The Lightning Vac is designed by engineers who live with pets themselves, so they know how frustrating shedding can be. That's why we made sure this one is one of the top priorities when designing the product. They wanted something strong enough to pick up anything your pet leaves behind, but also light enough not to hurt your arm after using it for an extended period of time. Wow. That's, again, impressive. This would be great for like an ad or something, all right? So there's an example of just using the Ada framework, right? Let's go ahead and look at more things we can do, right? So we'll go back down here. Let's look at a product description, okay? coffee mug let's do um how about we'll do a stainless steel mug and we'll say 
upgraded from military grade aluminum. No, should be not aluminum. What am I thinking? Steel. This coffee mug will withstand the apocalypse. Wow, I actually spelled apocalypse right. There we go, right? This is just, again, ridiculous. Now let's maybe change the voice. What I like here is you can change the tone to all sorts of things. You can do witty, angry, friendly, polite, professional. Let's do witty, okay? Again, I'm gonna leave it at three outputs. You can do more, you can do less. It's whatever you wanna do. So this is just the default, okay? We're gonna go ahead and generate and we're gonna see what kind of product description this will generate. Now, this would be perfect if you're doing like an Etsy store or maybe a Teespring and you wanted something to use. This mug won't bend or break in the face of your heaviest morning brew. Comes with a life. This is good. This weathered aluminum coffee mug is the only thing you need to prepare for a nuclear war. <laughs> this handmade military grade steel coffee mug will have your morning cup of java ready for outdoors or indoors use. Show off your dedication to outdoor lifestyle with this piece of gear that mimics everything from backcountry campsites. The deep alpine, even survivalist bunkers. Great brewing a hot pot of liquid. Guys, I mean, again, this is crazy. It is just an AI and it is capable of doing this kind of stuff. I mean, I hope you're seeing the power here and just already what you can do, right? Um, let's check the next thing, man. Let's let's just jump through stuff. All right, let's check, uh, see, we've done product description. Explain it to a child, maybe Facebook ad. Let's do a um, blog post into a paragraph. Let's do it. Um, blog post idea, let's... Um, Top 10 Adam Sandler movies, right? This is one of the things we were doing on my lives last night. Audience, movie fanatics, okay? We're gonna do it as funny. Uh, we'll do three outputs. Let's see the different uh, prompts that it gives us. I have no idea what this is gonna turn out. I've never actually used this particular template before. I'm excited to see what we get. Adam Sandler is one of the funniest actors in Hollywood. He has starred in many classic movies, and his newest hits are also on the list. Here's a rundown of some of the best Adam Sandler movies. The Waterboy. This comedy stars Adam Sandler as Bobby Boucher, The Waterboy. So the fact that it knows this stuff, man. Look at this. Happy Gilmore. I mean, Billy Madison. So again, the fact that AI not only understands context, but it understands how things relate to one another. It doesn't just regurgitate out, you know, just random uh, text strung together. Now, what's also really cool about this is this isn't just like pulled from a web page, right? This is 100% unique. So if I can copy this, for example, um, and I can go over here to Grammarly, right? Now, I can actually go ahead and punch this in, okay, right here. And we can go to the plagiarism checker. Well, actually, my, my uh, video thing is covering it. But we can look at the plagiarism checker right here. And It'll test it against the web pages of the internet, and pretty much it's it's copyright free. Now, there's a few things like this where you know you'll get some really generic sentences that'll pop up on the internet, but overall, as an article, I mean, it doesn't show up. So you can just say Adam Sandler, uh, maybe can be. Whoops, that's on it. Can be of the funniest actors on Hollywood. Here's a rundown of some of the best. Right. So I mean, like. You guys get the point. I mean, you can change some of the, like, because he becomes an unlikely hero when he saves. That's a really generic sentence. I mean, look what it links it to. Autocraft Body Works. I'm Amazon Duke the Greyhound. So, like, they're not even related. So, obviously, it's just picking up a generic sentence. You know, you can do a lot with this. So, that's just to show you that this regurgitates good content. I mean, good, mostly unique content. Um, let's see what else we can do. We'll go back to Templates. We're going to go into, let's see, we do Facebook. Copy. Let's do some Facebook headlines, right? Let's see, company. Let's do um, saving the whales, right? I'm just making stuff up, guys, as I go. As I go. Let's do uh, our company's mission statement is to save the whales in the Pacific Ocean from oil rigs I, I really i'm just i'm just throwing stuff out there guys i really am uh let's have it be friendly okay let's see what it pumps out for a facebook headline let's say if this is for the reason my campaign save the whales <laughs> did you know the pacific ocean is littered with oil rigs and scraps of metal save the whales from oil drilling so again 
it understands more context, right? It understands that oil rigs are oil drilling. I mean, yeah. You know, again, some of these headlines probably need some work. I don't, I don't know if I'd either use any of these, but again, it's just to kind of show you what things are capable of. Now, let's go ahead and actually do um, a long form document. And what's cool is you could write stuff from scratch and have have Jarvis, which is like the the bot behind this, start writing stuff for you. So I could say like, um, I could say top 10 Adam Sandler movies. And for, a, this is telling Jarvis like what to write about. I could say, uh, write an article on the top 10 funniest Adam Sandler films. And I could say exclude, um, let's say Billy Madison, right? I just, I just picked a random film. Okay. And I can just say, I'll give it a prompt. I'll say Adam Sandler. Okay. Let's see what it writes. Keep it on medium is one of the most respected comedian actors in Hollywood. And anyone who hasn't seen his films is missing out on something great. He offers a brand, a brand of situational humor that you can't find anywhere else from his gangster roles to his wacky romantic comedies. He has been a creative and offering something for everyone. Here are, this is impressive so far. Top 10. Look at this guys. It writes down in a list. <laughs> this is crazy. Here are my top 10 Adam Sandler movies. It listed out the water boy, right? And the information's on point, you know, like, it's just like, wow. Okay, we'll just keep letting it go. I'll just keep, I mean, look at this. It's writing out the whole article for us. Bobby Goes Nuts. I have not seen Buddy Goes Nuts. But see, now it's starting to, it, sometimes you have to kind of guide um, Jarvis because, you know, he might kind of go back to things and start rewriting stuff or kind of like go off in a weird tangent or direction. So you kind of just got to give him a little direction. So maybe kind of go back here and maybe put in, um, oh gosh, what was that one movie? Mr. Deeds, right? I believe it's 2002. Let's just see what it writes. The, psh, look at that. Actually, I think the movie was billion. He inherits billions of dollars. I don't think it was a million. But either way, you get the point, right? You get the point. I mean, it got the actors, got everything right. Like, that's, again, really impressive. Punch Drunk Love. The other thing is, too, with um, Jarvis is that it focuses more on creativity. So you kind of got to fact check some things because it'll just, like, you know, throw out some stuff. So, you know, you kind of got to run it through. Like, again, this, I remember in the movie... Oh, you guys, you can't see it with my my face in the way. Um, the four, the fifty million dollars. I think he actually got forty billion in the movie, if I remember correctly, not fifty million. So again, that's something you got to fact check. But again, the actors, the story, it's there, man. Um, let's do something else. Let's let's talk about. Let me let's put it through a cryptocurrency example. As you guys, I'm hoping you guys can see like the absolute power that this. AI has that it could write all sorts of stuff for you. Now, again, it's not a software you where you can just say, you know, write me an article on, on the best cryptocurrencies in the world, and it just punches out a perfect article 2000 words long, you know, it'll give you good stuff to work with, but you kind of got to like, you know, keep it going. It's kind of like driving an autonomous car. It can take you there, but you still have to be in control to an extent. Like you still got to be steering it sometimes and it'll kind of go off and do its own thing. It's not perfect, but it's getting, Guys, this is, it's getting there. We're getting close, all right? It ain't gonna take a whole lot longer. So um, let's talk about cryptocurrencies you need to be investing in as of 2021. Let's just see what it writes. I'm gonna put it for a long form length, okay? I have no idea what it's gonna write. In the following article, I'll be going into detail about three essential cryptocurrencies you need to go on that aren't as well known as Bitcoin Brothers. See, it, it understands. It understands these things. Before we go any further, it's probably best to explain what cryptocurrency actually is. That's smart. Cryptocurrencies are a form of digital currency similar to how normal money exists only online or digitally and can be used in place of cash. Look at this stuff. It even Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Guys, <laughs> it's here. Let's actually check it against Grimly. Is this... Is this actually all, is this pulled from an article or is this legit, right? Is this legit? Let's see. It should be. It definitely should be. All right, we're gonna go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, plagiarism. Now I might pull up some like generic sentences like, yeah, see, look at that. But how to play defense, the truth behind Apollo 18, 
so again, really generic sentences, you can change these out, you know, um, or you can just say, for starters, look at that, there you go, boom, sentence fixed. So you, again, good content, unique content. I mean, you guys can use the right books to write articles, whatever you need, okay? Let's do a couple more before we end this, just so we can kind of see what the what we got going on here. Real estate listing, let's do that. So we got here. I, I, a lot of these I've never played with. Um, let's do um, three bed, two bath, beautiful. Whoops, that is not how you spell beautiful. Beautiful. Did I really misspell it again? Gosh. Beautiful outdoor patio area. Five acres. Um, farm or should we know? Yeah, farm style house wood paneling i'm just throwing out random stuff here guys um what else should i add hot tub included um what's an extent no an extended garage detached garage uh what else we're gonna say uh three this is a massive home if it's three thousand square feet three thousand square foot home and we'll say three stories right now, obviously, realistically, you wouldn't have this kind of house be only three, two. But again, I'm just putting in stuff for an example to you, you know, so you could see what it what it uh, spits out. This is this this would probably cost you a lot of money. This kind of home is like this home is perfect for those looking to live on a farm yet close to the city. This detached three story ranch style house is perfect for families with children and pets. Wow, with a five acre lot, five acre lot, you'll have plenty of land to enjoy with your family and friends while still being close enough to drive around. Guys, this is good. The backyard has an outdoor patio area as well as beautiful country landscaping. The garage even includes a hot tub. Seat. Well, the garage, but you can relax after working all day. Wow, that an AI wrote this. I mean, guys. <laughs> well, if you're a writer. Honestly, our uh, we're going obsolete, man. We how, how are we going to keep up with this? Speaking of writing, let's look at some copywriting. I feel like we should look more at that. So obviously, you know, this thing is proven. It can do a lot of things. Ooh, intelligent answers for tough questions. It's a beta too. Uh, how should I invest one hundred dollars? Let's see what it says. Right. Let's see what it says. This is just on a whim information to include um to include in the answer maximum roi right ton of let's do professional now why can i not type tonight professional all right guys let's see if jarvis can tell us how to invest a hundred dollars how smart is it i have no idea i'm excited to see what it tells us it may be really smart it may be really chaotic i don't know if i could trust an ai to tell me where to invest my money there's no magic to get a good return on investment. It knows what ROI is. Just find something that has both the potential for high return rates and low risk as well. What? Keep an eye on your portfolio and be ready to change it up if you need to. Sometimes people just want to make money fast, but they really want is the assurance that their money will grow at a healthy rate of time. Okay. Guys. Guys. I, I'm speechless. I, I mean... The fact that it, it it knows this kind of stuff so in depth, I I mean like literally my breath is taken away. Even in times of recession and other financial downturns, assets like property or company stock will usually still generate some income so as long as the party can use. Guys, I, I can't write anymore. I I mean just this is it's not fair. It's honestly not even fair. If you're willing to gamble, there's a chance you can double your money in a short term, but in the long run, when speculators make money, it's usually at the expense of somebody else. What many people don't realize is that returns on investment are generally asymmetrical. If a company pays 6% interest per year, then the amount received back will be less than 6% because some of it will come in earlier than the installments. Again, like you, know, you probably want to fact check some of this stuff, but it, it knows deep context and, and it knows how to put things in continuity. This is frightening. Okay, this is frightening. And th these are core answers. So if somebody's asking... Um, Let's, let's do something stupid, right? Help. I got my arm stuck in a beehive looking for honey because I'm drunk. 
information to include. We we'll, won't include anything. We'll probably do a witty. All right. Let's see what it, let's see what it gives us. We'll do one output. I mean, I I want to throw the most ridiculous question at Jarvis and just see how is it going to respond to something like this, right? What is it going to analyze? And is it going to understand? I mean, is it going to is it going to be snarky? Find an alcoholic drink that forcefully removes bees from your person. So again, kind of a funky answer. Warm beer and a spoonful of honey applied to the extremely in question will sober you up a little time. Uh, see, I don't know if that's that is actually a legitimate answer. This is one of a few methods can be used in combating the, a drunk driving DUI. See, okay, so see, we kind of confuse the AI here a little bit. It, it's 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 gotten the alcohol mixed with getting your arm stuck in a beehive. It's kind of getting mixed signals. So, as you can see, again, it's not a perfect AI, but you know, it, it, if you kind of tailor it around, you could still get some good answers. Um, very interesting, though. The warm beer and a spoonful of honey applied to the extremity in question will sober you up a little. But it still understands the whole arm getting stuck, as it mentions an extremity. Now, I, I I don't think warm beer and a spoonful of honey can actually do anything. Um, again, you, you'd have to fact check this stuff, but still impressive, right? Still very impressive. Let's look over here to uh, press release, engaging questions, personal bio, email subject lines, video. Ooh, let's do some of these video description right make money from home watching videos online right here we go let's just this is what i did for default let's just see what it, what did uh what did uh what did uh professional what is it going to tell us this is for a youtube description i'm not gonna lie some people think it's weird working from home and watching videos but i get your skepticism there are a lot of scams out there that prey on people who want to work from home or make money online, but this isn't one of them. In this video, I'll show you how to make money watching videos online without paying anything up front or having any technical skills like HTML coding. My name's Jacob. I've been working home for years now and it's changed my life in a lot of ways, not only financially, but also because it follows me. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's do... Um, Top 10 gardening techniques that you should know, right? This again, random stuff. Keyword to rank for gardening techniques. We're just ranking here, guys. We're just seeing what this thing can, can uh, given random topics, what can it push out? I have no idea. So we're going to find out. This is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. In this video, I cover the top 10 gardening techniques that you should know if you're looking to have a beautiful garden. Use mulch. Water plants deeply, but infrequently. Wow. Again, this is for your description. This is clever. Absolutely clever, guys. Oh my goodness. I've compiled a list of my top 10 gardening techniques that you should know from planting flowers to building a raised bed. Wow. I mean, I hope you guys can kind of see just what this stuff is. And I, I know I keep repeating myself, but man, this is just. All right, we'll we'll do a couple more. Uh, I'm there's so many options. Like, like, what do we even do? Let's do some bullet points. I'm gonna open this as a new tab. Can I do that? No. Come on, Google Chrome. Come on. Nope, I can't. Okay, that's well, okay. Write responses to a public customer reviews. Oh, review responder. We should do that. Use this template to generate testimonials. If this goes well, okay. Okay. Let's do bullet points. We'll do review responder and we'll do one more thing. Let's do maybe um, a headline. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Persuasive bullet points. Let's do, um, I don't know. What's something we could talk about? Um, this is what I had before when I was doing some copywriting stuff. So let's maybe, hmm, cleaning. Let's call it a 409 bleach cleaner, right? Again, I'm just picking a random product. The strongest cleaning formula on the market cleans up blood spills dissolves flesh not being humorous um, what else can we say stronger than bleach itself this formula is so strong it's 
uh, probably going to be banned whoops from the government right again just random nonsense and i want to see if jarvis can wade through my nonsense and actually create something cohesive with it right i have no idea what it's gonna output 409 is strong enough to remove dried blood from services and clothing actually cleans deep stains using less product than other brands contains bleach so you know it's powerful <laughs> That's amazing. Able to clean up even the worst messes. It understands. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys. Gosh, man. This, this tool, man. This tool is insane. Gosh, man. Let's look at uh, review responder, right? Ooh, here we go. Let's let's leave a really nasty review, okay? Let's say uh, auto tech for you, right? Let's do Karen, right? That's definitely a name. Let's do a one star. Tone of voice. Wait, tone of voice for the customer or tone of voice for us? I don't know. I'm not sure what it's asking here. Angry? Customer review. I'm very unhappy. I'm unhappy with my typing. I'm very unhappy with my services with auto tech for you they promised me uh a car detailing but severely under delivered wow can i really not type delivered in 20 minutes time i only paid $20, but it was a complete waste of money. I will never shop or recommend this. Really? Recommend this company to anyone ever. P.S. My name is Karen for a reason. Okay, now let's see. Let's see what kind of responses we can. Again, I have no idea what this is gonna pump out. How do you respond to somebody like this, right? Hi, Karen. I'm sorry to hear about your experience with our car detailing service. We take great pride in work and we do, and we are disappointed that you felt this way. I'll be happy to follow up on what happened during your visit so we can learn from it and improve for future guests. What was, what, when was the last time you contacted us? Hi, Karen. I'm sorry that you're unhappy with our experience. We'll be happy to refund your 20 bucks for the detail service, and we apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. Please contact us at email protect so we can provide you a refund. Our team will also take a look into what happened during the detail. Make sure it doesn't happen. Wow. Wow. Guys. Guys. Give it up, man. Okay, we'll do one last one. This is insane. At this point, we're just having fun. I think you guys have seen the power. The power that this thing has is immense. Let's do a headline, right? Let's do a product description. The most itchy cotton clothing you could possibly ever wear. Don't do it. Okay, um, we'll just call it janky t-shirt or janky cotton t-shirt. People who like fashion? Should we do... Friend Let's do friendly. I don't think I've tested that out at all. I usually always just do professional. Again, I, I want to give Jarvis the most ridiculous prompts to just take what I do. Janky, jank, jank your style up. <laughs> that's that's genius. Itchy cotton shirt, don't do it. The most itchy cotton shirt you could possibly ever wear. You deserve better than this. Don't do it. <laughs> don't buy this shirt. You're going to love this. Co uh, cotton clothing, this is rough on the skin. <laughs> oh, man. Jank your style up. I like it, man. Dude, gosh. This tool, guys. This tool is... 
what do I even say at this point, guys? This is it's crazy. I hope you guys can understand and see just how powerful conversion AI truly is and the multitude of things and ways you can use it from writing copy to you know, responding to customers, to headlines, to product descriptions, to writing short stories, articles. I mean, guys, this is the future. This app, this this tool does it all. You know, as expensive as it is, it delivers a lot. I mean, you could do this to write books, to write content, to write scripts, to write. I mean, like, what can't you do with this? I mean, really, with a little bit of direction and fine tuning within a year or two, this thing could be just monumental Uh used for colossal amounts of work. I, you know, just the more I use it, the more blown away I am with the results that it feeds me back. Just, and how good the quality is, like what it, what it delivers back to you is just, it's immense. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like the video, leave a comment below. Let me know which part of the conversion.ai template was your favorite to test out. And you can actually check out Jarvis or conversion.ai in the description box down here. It is not an affiliate link. It is just the plain website link that it's gonna take you to go check out their website. If you're new to the channel, well, congratulations on making it this long. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and please keep your notifications on. This way YouTube will let you know every time I release a great new video. I got a lot of really cool make money online tutorials coming your guys way from TikTok and YouTube crash courses to all sorts of goodies that I'm not gonna say anything about just quite yet, but you gotta subscribe and stay tuned because it's coming your way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out this amazing AI tool and I will see you guys in the next episode.